Hello and welcome to this course on MATLAB programming for numerical computations. In this week, we are covering introduction to MATLAB. We have talked about MATLAB programming, we have talked about arrays in MATLAB, we have discussed how to use various functionalities to extract information from arrays, to build arrays and so on. We have also talked about for loops in the context of MATLAB programming. Okay? In this particular video, we are going to talk about cell arrays and MATLAB structures. Okay? So these are mixed data type structures in, that can be used in MATLAB. So far, we have been talking about numerical arrays to represent vectors, matrices and so on. In this particular lecture, we are going to talk about mixed data type structures. Okay? So what if we have mixed data? Example is you have text and numerical data or you have different text strings or you have figure legends or it is based on requirement in certain toolboxes. Okay? That is when you are going to use cell arrays. Okay? Uh, where, when you can use other example that you can use cell arrays is let us say you have data such as name, age, height, weight and country of citizenship. Okay? So this is text, this is text whereas this is numeric. Okay? If we get a case like this, we are going to use uh, cell arrays in order to represent. Okay? The most common use case, we are not going to use this particular case for the most part in this course. Okay? This might be for much more for your feature, future reference, but the common use cases is when you want test text strings, okay? not one single string, but multiple strings of text or when you have figure legends. Okay? <coughs> that is when we are going to use cell arrays. Let us go over to MATLAB and show an example. Okay? Let us say x is equal to minus 5 to 5. And say s is equal to sin of x and c equal to cos of x. Okay? And let us plot these as plot x comma s x comma c. Okay? So one of them is sin of x and the other is cos of x. Okay. Okay. So, when I wanted to give the X title or, or the Y title, I just gave this as directly as a text array. Okay? However, now if we have multiple things that we want to give, uh, for example, in figure legends, in that case, we are going to use cell arrays. Okay? And I will show you how to do that. Legend sign cosine okay and this will give you the legend as sine and cosine okay let's see what we have given over here what we have given over here i'll copy paste this over here LEG TXT equal to sine cosine. Okay? This creates a 2 by 1 cell array. Okay? So, what is a cell array? Cell array will start with a squiggly bracket. Okay? First element, second element, third element. Let us say we have a semicolon. Next element next element, next element and close with squiggly bracket. This will create a 2 by 3 cell array. Okay? 
you can have whatever data type within the cell array. So, for example, you can have this as text, you can have this as number, you can have this as a vector, okay. You can have this as a number, you can have this as another number, you can have this as a vector. That is all very much possible. Let us kind of take a look at that, okay. So, I will use my name which is Niket, okay. This year is 2023, okay. I have, uh, let us have uh, an array and, uh, you know, let us, this. Uh, let us say this, uh, the independence, uh, sorry, the Republic Day is 26th of January, okay. So, this is one first row, the second row is uh, going, going to be, let us say that the three numbers are one, two, three and this becomes our cell area, okay. So, what do we have? Now, we have a two row, three column cell array where the first guy is a string the second guy is just a number, the third guy is a 2 cross 1 vector. One more number, one more number and one more number, okay. So, you have mixed data types within a cell array and that is one of the beauties of using cell array, okay. As far as this course is concerned and as far as good programming practices are concerned, you should avoid using cell arrays for any other purpose other than the few purposes that are listed over here, okay. If you want them to be used as text strings or for figure legends, you should use cell arrays. In some toolboxes, you need to use uh, 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 cell arrays for certain, certain purposes, that is when you should go ahead and use cell arrays, okay. For all other purposes, I would strongly uh, suggest you to avoid cell arrays because cell arrays are usually inefficient ways of coding in MATLAB, okay. The other use case of cell arrays is when we have non-rectangular data, okay. For example, let us say the data that is generated is time, temperature, pressure and flow rates, okay. In this particular course, to use cell arrays will be to for text strings and figure legends. Beyond that, I will recommend you to not use cell arrays, okay. Next, we will come to MATLAB structures, okay. F to create the structure, the command is struct, okay, and the variables are of the form variable name dot field, okay. An example, name, age, height, weight, country, okay. So, the var dot name is the name of the person, var dot age is age of the person where and so on up to var dot country is the country of that person, okay. Again, name is text, age is a number, height is a number, weight is a number and country is a number. Now, what is the distinction between cell arrays and uh, structures is in cell arrays, let us say you had a cell array of name, age, name, age, height, weight and country. The first element is name, second element is age, third element is height, fourth element is weight. Let us say you get confused whether second element is age or second element is height, then you are going to be in a little bit of a trouble because you do not know what to do next. As against that, if you have a structure, it will be called person data dot name, you know it is name, person data dot age, you know it is age, person data dot height, you know it is height and so on, okay. Now, how do you construct these arrays, the, uh, sorry, how do you construct the structures? The structures can be constructed using the command struct. What are the use cases of structures, okay? One of the use cases of structures is indeed a mixed data structure like this and I am going to come to this in the next video which is a bonus video, but in this particular course, the only prim primary use case that we are going to use 
is to make model parameters that you can pass on to various solvers that we have in MATLAB. Okay? So, let us say we have a model of this nature phi equal to ax plus bu plus cy plus dz. Okay? So, x, u, y and z are variables, a, b, c and d are structures. Okay? In which case, we are going to use a code that is given over here to get the model structure. Sorry. To get the model structure. So, let me copy this. in order to demonstrate to you in MATLAB. I am using the command clear wires to clear all the variables, close all to close all the figures, CLC to clear the screen. Okay. Let me copy paste this over here and you will have a structure called model param. Okay. If I type model param, okay, model param is struck with this field, this fields where a equal to 1, b equal to 2.5, c equal to 0 0.1 and d equal to 100. Okay. So, now we can have model param dot a is going to give us access to the parameter a. Model param dot c will give us access to the parameter c. Okay. Let us say now we want to change the model param dot d. Okay. So, we want to change it from 100 to 105. Okay. So, we can say model param dot d equal to 105 and enter and only the model param d is going to be changed. Okay. If I type model param, you will see that A, B and C have remained the same, but D now has changed to 105. Okay? Let me clear VARS to remove all the variables and let us look at another case. Okay? Another case is where R is a function of let us say both temperature and pressure okay? and it is polynomial in temperature and linear in pressure okay? and we have these parameters. Now, in this parameters, your parameters are vectors. So, let us see what happens. Okay. Okay. Model param is A which is a 3 cross 1 vector and B which is a 2 cross 1 vector. dot a will give you this. Model param dot b will give you this. Okay. So, what do we mean by, by this particular this particular guy? So, what has happened over here is we have model param So, these are your model parameters. The model parameter A is 1.2.005, model parameter B is 10.2. Okay? So, model param dot A is a vector, model param dot B is another vector. Okay? This gives a lot of flexibility and a lot of opportunity in MATLAB to write very modern, very readable and very efficient codes. Okay? That is the use case of model structures that we are going to use in this particular course. Okay? But that is not the only use case. The other use case of 
uh, using cell arrays or structures or another data type called table is going to be a table of this nature. You will recognize this from previous to previous video that was a tutorial video. In the tutorial video, we had focused only on the numerical part of this particular uh, table. Okay, but what if we want to cover the entire table in its entirety? Okay, now if you want to cover the entire table, that is a mixed data type. It, and for mixed data type, we have three options, cell arrays, structures and tables. That's what we are going to cover in the next video. That's a bonus video that is not a part of this curriculum. Okay, however, I'm going to talk about this bonus video just for the sake of completeness. Okay. So with that, I come to the end of this lecture. Thanks for listening. Bye and see you in the next lecture.